All right, welcome back. So as per usual, quick little uh, news update for you guys in the DPC world and all the post TI roster shuffle stuff going on today. I'm actually posting this later than I usually would have because I was waiting to see if anything more would happen before the end of the day. Um, especially with the big news that we had yesterday with Zai leaving Team Secret and then joining Team Liquid. But no, it was a pretty quiet day. At least it was a pretty quiet day in the confirmed actual news type of stuff. There has been a ton of rumors going around. I know that um, the Reddit thread, the mega thread that has a bunch of like all of the changes that have been happening throughout this roster shuffle period, um, which I've been following a lot, has been very useful for the for keeping up with everything. Uh, in, in just the past 24 hours alone, they put up like eight different, <laughs> eight different team threads with new rosters and everything like that. But all of their sources are just random Reddit comments on the thread. So there's a lot of speculation going around. A lot of people may be getting a little bit misinformed. But so far, nothing really has happened yet since yesterday's big shakeup. So again, we haven't really uh, got all that much information, but. We're going to see how it unfolds in the next couple of days. But for now, we do have some actual news. And this is coming out from Quincy Crew. So, of course, yesterday in my video, I had mentioned that uh, Quincy Crew had put out a statement saying that they were going to be making a big announcement. Um, of course, it was pretty obvious that it was probably going to be something related to their upcoming roster or if they were just going to be staying together as a team in general. Um, because we know a lot of members had left after TI. A lot of members had even said the team was disbanding. And it looks like that is true. I mean, they were down to just two players left. Um, but they stick together and those two players were Yawar and Quinn and they are the only two members that were remaining from that TI-10 stack that are still on their new roster now and that new roster uh, looks like this. Uh, first off, uh, Les Lau who had left the team with the pause three, he has now been replaced by Kezu who was actually coaching for them at TI-10. Um, Kezu had actually left Quincy Crew as he was looking to be uh, a captain of some sort for a team playing position three or position five or as a coach if necessary and he ends up coming back to North America. Um, so he's back on Quincy Crew this time as a captain, as he wanted, but from the position three role. Uh, so good for him. Kezu, obviously a pretty big name. He's been streaming quite a bit as of late as well. Uh, he's got a pretty popular stream there. A pretty, pretty solid one too. I enjoy tuning into his streams now and then. Uh, next up, pause four, we had MSS who has left the team, of course. He's being replaced by Milan. Uh, Milan is a player who's kind of been lurking around the Dota 2 Pro scene for quite a while. He's actually attended TI7 and TI9. Uh, TI9, he was on Team Chaos, however, so he didn't quite make it through the group stage. That was the team that Matumba Men was on uh, right after he got kicked from Liquid. He joined that team. Um, so he's kind of not really had the best amount of success. He's been floating around the Tier 2, Tier 3 scene for a lot of the time. But now he's actually going to have a shot in the Tier 1 scene uh, in the sense that he's going to be playing in the North American DPC Upper Division because, of course, Quincy Group still has their DPC slot there. So... Uh, Good, good for him, finally getting some spotlight on him, and we'll see if it ends up working out. And the same thing applies for our next player, who of course is replacing Loa, or SVG in the position 5 role, and that is uh, Ponlo. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, he has been, again, one of those members that has been kind of lurking around the Tier 2, Tier 3 scene for a long time. He's actually a 10k MMR player. Um, however, you probably haven't heard of him because he, again, has only really been on Tier 2, Tier 3 teams at this point. But now he's going to get his shot, and he's playing position 5 for Quincy Crew. But of course, uh, he's not going to be the captain, as usually most teams have position 5 as the captain. Like I had mentioned, Kezu is going to be playing that captain role. And uh, for coach, they do not have a coach. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they played uh, the entire DBC season last year without a coach, and then they just picked up Kezu. Uh, as a coach for TI, of course, that's pretty a common thing for uh, a player that doesn't qualify to TI. They'll join a team as a coach if they're a veteran player like Kezu that will have a lot of valuable information that the team could make use of. Unfortunately for them, obviously, it didn't end up working out the way that they had hoped. But like I said, Kezu's back and we'll see if they actually do pick up a coach. Uh, judging by how complete they seem uh, to make the roster announcement on on Twitter, uh, I would be I, I wouldn't be surprised if they go without a coach, but Again, uh, we'll have to see. And uh, this last little bit of news today, this is actually something that happened a few days ago that I missed, so apologies for that. And this is more news revolving around Alliance that Loda had basically confirmed that Nico Baby was not going anywhere. So, of course, we saw the departures of both Limp and Handskin before, uh, just a few weeks ago. And then we saw that S4 was going to be leaving. That felt less like a kick and more just like a mutual parting ways. Um, as I feel like if it was a kick, it would have happened at the same time as when Limp and Handskin had left. 
And uh, yeah, so Nico Baby's gonna be staying on, won't be leaving, won't be getting kicked, anything like that. So again, Alliance still has a lot of holes to fill in their roster. Again, a lot of speculation going out. I know that that thread has uh, stuff saying that Weehaw's gonna join Alliance. There, there were like eight different teams, again, all in just the past 24 hours that have had uh, leaked unconfirmed rosters. One of which included uh, a stack that was possibly including Fly and Quinn, which literally hours after that was speculated was debunked because Quinn is obviously still staying on Quincy Crew. So I don't put a whole lot of faith in that. Like I've mentioned before, I try to steer away from rumors unless there's real like concrete evidence. I know uh, the Insania thing that I covered yesterday where he was saying that he was meeting with the EEG thing. Uh, it was very high chance it was a meme and I had mentioned that in the video and it seems like at that at this point that's kind of what it's shaking out to be but it came directly from him so I felt like I had to report it if it was just someone putting it in a reddit thread or in a comment or something like that with low credibility I wouldn't include it and so uh, yeah just letting you guys know that everything I'm putting in here I'm trying to make sure is absolutely 100% confirmed uh, so you guys can stay absolutely 100% informed uh, no rumors here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, who do you think is going to get let go of Team Liquid? Uh, now that Insania is kind of not the front runner anymore. Um, do you think it's Boxy is going to be let go? Do you think they're going to let someone else go? Again, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below as always. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.